Welcome to today's episode on the Football Intel. My name is Victor Sioku, and I'm glad to be here. On today's episode, I'll be talking about Saudi Arabia. You're wondering, just Saudi Arabia? Yes! Majorly on Saudi Arabia today, because we have so much news about Saudi Arabia and football. Just uh, recently, we got the buzz that Steven Gerrard has moved to Saudi Arabia. And you wonder, why would Steven Gerrard move to Saudi Arabia? Mind you, he's just 43. And yes, as a coach, one might say that uh, he has not had the best times out there. But he still has his pedigree as a British and somebody that, yeah, proved his part in Rangers FC in Scotland. But you just wonder, why would he leave his zone, that is uh, England, or the British, or even Europe in, in, entirely, then move to Saudi Arabia? Well, remember, just some months ago, he was asked whether he was going to move to Saudi Arabia, and he said no. That the offers being given to him were not suitable for him, so he wasn't going to make such move. But I can see the fever has caught up on him. Not just him, you have uh, plenty players out there that he's trying to bring in. Gerard is not going alone. He wants to pack some packs of players along with him. Number one on his list is Cortin Ho. And you wonder why would he want to move with Cortin Ho? Well, it's obvious that most of these players want to just go there and end their career. And mind you, like they say, football is a short-term career. And these players want to make every money they, they can so that they can take care of themselves the more, even in old age. But you now ask, is Saudi Arabia doing the right thing? Yes, some persons out there are saying, that, oh, come on, why would we... Why would the English be moving to Saudi Arabia knowing that that country has been known for, for, for the bad news, especially when it comes to human rights um, issues. Well, when it also comes to money, some things have been uh, checking out. And right now, it's looking so gloomy that, man, everybody's moving to Saudi Arabia, not minding what they have said with one part of their mouth. Who would believe that Liverpool will be calling up on Saudi Arabia to come and take stake from their, from their club. And they want to sell a stake in their club and they want Saudi Arabia to bring in their money. In fact, it's, it's, it's now like an open center for most clubs in England. That if you want to sell your club, please go out there and reach out to the Saudis to buy your club. And you ask the reason, why is it that the Saudis are really investing in football right now? Well, we saw what happened, we saw what happened during the last World Cup. Uh, they made their mark by beating Argentina, and it was like, wow. So that means that they can move in and make huge investments in their football, and who knows, they might be able to host the next World Cup. Remember, UEFA president has come out to tell them, see, this football model that you guys are playing at will backfire on you. It is not the best way about this. You need to go down to your grassroots, start Training players, start grooming players that will, at the end of the day, make your league rich. But they are, they are not listening to UEFA. They just want to buy and buy and buy and buy. Remember, the same thing happened to China. China was the destination for most players. Remember some African players, even in their 20s, they would just move to, to China. Because of what? Because of the money. Because they want to make this money. And at the end of the day, when they go to this China Chinese club, they might spend one year, two years, three years maximum. And uhuru, their, 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 their career is done. And what happens? They come back home. They go down to their local leagues. Okay? So imagine a Nigerian player going to Europe, play good football, move to China, and within the space of two, three years, the person is back. To maybe Iwanya National or Ekanemi Warriors, 
Because of what? No more. Nothing has no, nothing to defend again. His uh, pedigree has gone down. He's now an expired product. Well, let's see what happens with these players like Benzema. Um, let's see what happens to Jota. Let's see what happens to the likes of uh, Kolibali. But will this really backfire, you ask the question? My answer is yes. Reason, because what happened in China should be used as a case study. Remember, the Chinese spent so much that even the likes of Tevez said that he was on holiday while in China. Was on holiday, meaning that he did not really put in, there was nothing to put in, no energy to put in. He just went there, cashed out, and left the country. And right now, those clubs are in debt. They can't even come out from their crisis up to date. It's even on public news that most of these Chinese clubs have spent 10 times of what the Korean League and the Japanese League have spent. But you, up to date, you cannot compare the Korean League and the Japanese League to Chinese League. No. You cannot. So that may be for all on Saudi Arabia. Who knows? Well done to Steven Gerrard. I wish him all the best. I wish him all the best. And uh, remember in football, when you are not in active service, especially people like Gerrard that has not really made his mark, one might be like, ah, but he did well with Rangers. Come to think of it. <laughs> Rangers is not, uh, the Scottish League is not something to hold on high on high esteem it's really not there um apologies to scottish uh, football fans out there but yes you all, you can also uh, note that during his time in aston villa he really did not do well and that was why he was sacked and come to think of it as soon as he was sacked the new coach did his mark he did his mark that Aston Villa came so close to quali to qualify for Champions League. So what do we what do we say about this? We have to give it let's say the next one or two years and see the likes of Benzema, see the likes of Koulibaly, what they will achieve in this in this uh, Saudi Arabian League. Well, that will be all for today. I wish to see you in the next episodes. Thanks for watching. Bye.